Hey everybody, how's it going? We're, uh, we're out on a little hike, uh, mainly out here today to test my uh, Hidden Woodsman pack. Look at that bone. Wow. So we're still hiking along. There's a red tail hawk. Hear that? There's so much wildlife back here. Uh, this hidden woodsman day ruck. We're really comfortable right now. And I'll tell you what, Malcolm makes some awesome products. There's no doubt about that. Okay, here's a an old rub on a cedar tree from a deer. Rubbing his head on there. And it looks like you killed the tree. Alright, I see something and I'm not sure what it is. I think I'm gonna need you guys to help me identify this one right now. So what is that? What kind? It's like they're collecting water. Wow, look at this. I don't know a lot about mushrooms or fungus, but uh, that is really cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what those mushrooms are right there on that tree, but if you know, let me know. So I'm just gonna follow this deer trail, see where it goes. Man, this is a highway. Look at this. That crow sounds pissed. And the red tailed hawk. He's not happy. That is a pissed off crow. And that crow. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. Oh my god. I don't know if you just saw that, but that crow and a red tail hawk flew into each other. I've never seen that. Holy crap. That was wicked. God, I wish I could have gotten that. I don't think I got it on film, but they might go at it again. That was so cool. I've never seen that in my life, and I've been outdoors my whole life. But a crow, that crow, and a red-tailed hawk, like, collided into the air. Hit each, I, don't, I don't even know. I couldn't see the whole, but I saw them hit and then fly away from each other. And you could hear the ruckus. That was really cool. See, I love coming out here. You never know what you're going to see. All right, stay tuned, guys. I think we're almost there. Okay folks, so we've hiked ways and I'm going to go over this hidden woodsman day ruck. i um, show you how I've got it set up and the quality. So let's get to that. We've been hiking along here testing out this hidden woodsman day ruck. So I found a nice place, thought I would show it to you. So here we've got the Hidden Woodsman Day Ruck. This is in Ranger Green. And I've got it packed pretty full here just to demonstrate. And I've been hiking now for I don't know how long, but it's been really comfortable. Um, the material, the quality, the stitching. I mean, you guys know Hidden Woodsman Malcolm makes awesome quality products. So uh, we've got a condor, water pouch, uh, H2O bag on the side, and this is just a dump pouch. Uh, I don't know where this is condor or 3V gear, one of the, one of the two. So I've got my fishing pole on here. This is a telescopic that I wanted to test today if we make it 
Okay, so I'm going to do my best to show you guys some more about this pack. The day of rock again, this is Ranger Green. It's got the Velcro on top, the Hidden Woodsman patch inside, and the webbing is all coyote brown. This is double layered, so 1000D and I think 500D. Really qual top notch stitching everywhere. So, what's cool about this, he's got these flaps. Uh, he got rid of the Velcro that he used to have. Quality clips. Again, the coyote. Got a zipper pouch in the front. That that's how deep it runs. And there's a pocket behind the zipper, and that's how deep it runs as well. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything in either one of these at the moment. There's made in the USA. All by hand. Malcolm hand makes these every single bag. All right. Now, in the front, you'll notice I have a fishing pole. I wanted to test this. This is just a really cheap $4, I think I paid for this telescopic pole. Uh, this is one of my better reels, but the point here is that these are looped for an axe handle or a hatchet handle. So I just threw my rod in there, it worked really well. Inside, it's loaded. Start off here, we got a shamog, uh, life straw, just in case. Here we've got a hammock. Now this hammock, this is a new company called Bear Butt. I've actually been talking with Mike and Dylan, and this is a new khaki and green hammock. I've not tried it. I'll hope to do a review on that. And these are the bare butt hammock straps that go with it. Those are both in there. Here is a, another product. This is a the Yukon Outfitters Walkabout Rainfly. Okay, so uh, this is a. 11 by 10 by 9 by 4 so that fits nice and easy in there so we've got our hammock and our cover rain gear rain cover uh, got some gloves we got some paracord and we've got a mountain house in case we got hungry out here uh, we can cook that with what's inside here all right, now we're going to get into a little bit more of uh, Malcolm's products that he makes. Uh, this is his fire bag, really good zipper. Of course, I've got fatwood, I've got a lighter, some wet fire, got a matching bear rod with orange, and cotton balls, more fatwood shavings. Got a Four Directions Bushcraft One Time Fire. Uh, so, yeah, all that fits in there and with room to spare. And these are big fatwood pieces. Okay. All right, so zip that back up. Now, I've got another, uh, this is a Ranger Green fire bag. Now, in this bag, now these are all uh, pretty much water resistant. They're not waterproof, but they're very water resistant. This I'm using for a medic. Uh, it's got you know essentials, band-aids, gauze, iodine. Uh, we've got other things in there, triangle bandages, everything for just a medic. And. Here's another one, another Ranger Green to match the pack, and this one I'm using for food. Uh, I've just got essentials. I got some almonds, sunflower seeds, some candy for sugar. Uh, I've actually got tea bags in here and uh, oatmeal. So just general. Look at that. Can't even hold on to it. So yeah, that's just being used for general food. Some small food supplies goes in there. Okay. Now, also, this is one of 
uh, the Hidden Woodsman's tinder bags. These are really cool. And this is olive drab and the roll up. You guys have seen this. Really roomy, big. And you just roll it down, clip it. Now, you can see it's not airtight, but, and you can clip this, you know, to your bag on the D ring somewhere, maybe, uh, or on your, or you can put it on your side to your belt and be able to easily put tinder in there. So if you were to open it up all the way, you know, you can just clip it and reach down in there. Really nice bags. And this is a new product. This is his Possibles pouch. This is a really cool bag. I like this a lot. You can carry it like a, it's almost like a toiletries bag, but it works out really well. Quality zippers. This thing is loaded. I'm not going to go through it right here. Um, but I literally have everything from my fishing kit, right in the rain paper, uh, a yo yo, uh, compass, whistles. Of course, I've got a gonzo. It's, it's it's a lot of stuff. Maybe we'll go into more detail later. All right. So look at all this so far. This is one of his uh, belt pouches. I uh, did not use this today yet, uh, but this one he made for me in Ranger Green with Coyote to match the bag. And really roomy. It'll go right on your side. All right. And inside he has a special pocket for a saw and I've got a Baco lap launder in there. All right. So look at all this everybody. All that's inside this bag. Super quality. I'll bring you in closer and show you the inside and uh We'll go from there. All right, folks, I forgot there is another product from Malcolm that I wanted to show you today. And this is it right here. This is his signal panel. This is bright orange, comes with a holder, and it just folds open. It's got these loops on the corners so you could fasten it up for a signal. So that's really nice, pretty cool. I think one thing I would use it for possibly. Like right now, if I were to sit on this tree, I could just, it's waterproof, so I could just throw it on the tree and sit down without getting wet. Uh, or even put it on the ground for my knees. Uh, and of course, signal if you ever happen to get in trouble. So I like the versatility of this signal panel. And, uh, did you just hear that turkey? That turkey was less than 100 yards. Okay, so here's the close-up, more of the bag itself, with the molly in the front. It's got the molly on the bottom for a bed roll. That would work really good for a sleeping bag or a mat. Now here's the inside, so let's clear that out. It's got the pocket, like I said, for a saw. And it's got this mesh pocket and the high vis yellow inside, so you can really see if there's something in there that you're trying to find. And this mesh is like really high quality. I mean, everything is military gray, and that zips up nice and neat. The padding on the back that's really thick padding. Okay, really nice. Here's the Here's the buckle system on the top. That keeps everything safe from falling out uh, and it adds a little bit more water resistant. And there's the top. Hidden Woodsman. Alright, let's show you. Here's your back. Okay, so you can see here the stitching, the quality on all of this. He hand makes, cuts the foam for these shoulder straps, stitches everything up himself. I like this backing, the padding. He added 
uh, more of this stitching here to make it more comfortable. He's got really quality buckles here. One thing I really like about this is how these slide up and down right here to adjust your chest strap. These move up and down. It's really nice. I like that system. So there it is folks. This is the day ruck from the Hidden Woodsman. I'm telling you the quality is fantastic. Malcolm does great work. There's no question, no doubt this will last uh, probably a lifetime. All of these products. I mean the belt pouch, the possibles pouch, the tender bag, the fire bags, all of this. And the prices are fair for the quality that you're getting. There's, there's no doubt. Uh, all of the products and his haversack. Uh, I do have the haversack and it's fantastic. Okay, so that's it. So there's all the stuff from the Hidden Woodsman Day Rook. So just take a quick gander at everything that I had in there. All those bags, all that stuff right there. I've got a hammock, I've got tree straps, I've got a tarp cover, and then all these pouches that you saw. Food, shamog, a life straw. It's great. Take a look at everything that was in that pack. It's a lot of stuff. And it was really comfortable to carry, hiking around with it. That water bottle in there is uh, the H2. I've got kind of my cook setup you've seen before in another video. It's got the Nalgene and this uh, Stanley cup and another cup. Uh, inside I've got a stove in there. Please go check out thehiddenwoodsman.com. You will not be disappointed with any of his gear. Malcolm is a really great guy to work with. And Malcolm, I appreciate you, buddy working with me on uh, getting these products. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. If you've got some uh, products from the Hidden Woodsman, let me know how you like them. I appreciate everyone taking the time to watch this video. I encourage you to check out hiddenwoodsman.com. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.